Hi and welcome back to... Hello and welcome back to um, Snoke's Place, Europa Universalis 4, The American Independence. Um, as you might remember, our last uh, episode was a bit of a doozy. I ran over the clock quite a while there, but it was only because I was so enthusiastic about our new campaign here. Um, so we're just two days out of this... Uh, ruthless ruthless battle that we're gonna wage against Britain hopefully we're gonna get hopefully we're gonna get the defending position and not having both a crossing penalty and a hills penalty um yeah let's hope that's the case so I'm, just, I'm gonna kick it off here right away and um yeah hopefully you'll, you'll hopefully you like the new series by the way I'm uh, enjoying it a lot as you might have noticed Okay, let's uh, let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm just gonna take a second here and uh, mourn, mourn everything. Um, we do have a bit of a bonus in that we have more artillery, but our freaking generals keep rolling ones. And I know Benedict Arnold is a turn coat, but come on, even coats that turn should be able to. Roll better than once. You know what? Let's um, on the 16th, two days. Let's. Um, this isn't great, but we sh seem to be to have uh, been able to defend our rear flank there. So let's instead move to a defender position. Maybe you know, you know that. Maybe to hills here. Even better here, then we can use our um, sortie if we if we're really desperate. Okay, okay, here we go. Back to Tinderoga. We lost a lot of troops. That should not have been done. Even for the comfortability. I freaking love you, Arnold. Holy hell. I mean, you're a traitor and all, but you know, <laughs> even traitors can be. Benefactors. So, there's nothing we need here. There's nothing we need here. This is where it's at. So, let's just sacrifice all this and get more money because we need it. I don't care if we go into the negative zero, that's fine. Uh, and then also, unrest. It's a huge deal. National tax, that's a better deal. And more manpower as well. Should have taken that earlier, really. Moral armies, I'm gonna keep you. Uh, we don't even have the church power yet to get any any faith as aspects, unfortunately. But you know, um, I hate to join a bestler. And eight years until the next one. You know what? There, just gonna we're gonna reach a point in which I'm gonna have to. Um, Realized that this campaign might have been a failure and maybe I should restart Or retry rather Yeah, fuck off back to Canada. We don't want you here Of course, they're just coming to chase us here instead We need 6,000 men we have zero Hopefully yep none of them are um, artillery at least So let's remove Move all of our zero regiment, re zero um, troop regiments. Let's. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. Let's consolidate these two and. Yeah, good. And now we're gonna need some mercenary hussars because you know mercenary cab is so freaking cheap. <laughs> I'm playing this like a furrow noob, and I uh, I apologize. Well, I I guess I am one in this case. I haven't played this this campaign ever. Okay, here we go. I think it's a bit unfair though that, well, they have an all, a whole um, 
you know what? Let's go hide over here. Uh, they have an they have an all. Uh, hey, they have a whole um, subject uh, over here, all of Canada, in which they can land troops and they then come just then just come down harassing us, while we <laughs> they have no own territory over here that we can siege, except for like these two and this one. Because British Louisiana is in the war. Okay. Fortunately, though, not um, Canada. Or, well, Newfoundland. I'm just, I'm just wasting all of our mana right now. Um, soon our course will be done, which is something. Uh, can we... I mean, we could go just siege down territory because it's something to do. And take back our own. Oh, here we go. Stay in hills, please. I'm not gonna fight you in the woods. We will fight you on the beaches, but not in the woods. Um, <coughs> that's that's fine. You're entirely allowed to siege down my uh, my coast areas if that's what you feel like you need to do. Let's try to taunt them out a bit. Uh, how about we get all of our important infantry and cav and, and a few mercs. Try to pretend like we're walking over here. Hey, Britain, we're all uh, we're all weak over here. Come on. Or we do this. And take them all their week over here instead. A new loan, which is fine. After the war, that won't matter a bit. Hey, you know what? We could, um, we should have raised war taxes a long time ago. The 15s are gonna be locked in now, and then we're gonna go as well. Uh, We'll be there on the 19th. Okay, fuck that. Okay, now they're going to Bennington, which is Hills, which is better. Still not. Okay, this will be heavy. They're locked. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. Come on. Benedict. I trusted you. I trusted you. I shouldn't have, really. Uh, the freaking turncoat that you are. We'll, we'll win, but there's gonna be um, heavy losses for us. I mean, how lucky, uh, how unlucky can we be? Anyway, we consistently roll once. Um, we uh, never get a defensive bonus, even though we should have an equal. Now we squashed someone, squashed someone, even though we should have an equal chance at it. And uh, yeah, it just keeps piling on. Any chance of peace? It's getting there. Nice. Let's um, march over to Louisiana. Fuck off. Feels like fla Feels like swatting at flies. Flas flatting at swaths. Okay. Uh, the last march. The last march of the Americans. Hopefully not. Here we go, Augusta. Does this feel like a great idea? We will have a defensive bonus and we're just very cool dudes. Do you feel like you will... Uh, I regret a bit not letting George Washington lead in this regiment. <laughs> Would have been uh, nice. Rolled a 2 and they rolled a 5 and they rolled a 8 before that. That's well, it seems like to be the um, modus operandi for this campaign. Modus operandi. We will lose this fight, of course, because we're in Okay, a lot of new cores, at least. Okay, this is, from here on out, George Washington's personal honor guard. And they're gonna honor all of 
southern southern um, United States of America. Meet up in James River and fuck about a bit, and then we can uh, march down and deal with these fuckers. Fuck off, Louisiana. You're not even a country. Oh, what? Britain is making gains because they took, well, some areas. Nothing important, I think. Let's not have you gain a lot of... Uh, inf what's it called? Lose a bunch of guys due to um, attrition. Let's uh, instead... Is there any chance that you just lost that bonus? I don't want Great Britain to be making gains. That's the worst modifier since... Since... Um, I don't know. We could march over here. We would lose the battle. Um, so we shouldn't. But we could. Let's get to these hills. And see if we can uh, make something out of that situation. Um, I'm guessing this is a high zero level fort. Okay, so we can take him with just our um, these three guys, I think. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now let's just try to... Oh! Even better, we can force march when uh, we, we're starting to get close. Um, work for Sachin, I think. <laughs> Thanks for the generous choice, though. There they go. That's fine. Let's get to um, Biloxi. Bilowi? Biloxi? Uh, anything we can do here? No. Okay. Oh, that's the Empire. Not really relevant. Oh, okay, where uh, we got them now. Come on, you know you want to. Or revolts in Great Britain. I've never heard something so joyful to my ears. The freaking Irish as well. Go on, go on, you Irish bastards. Just don't get over here then, uh, later on, because then we're gonna be mad and call you stuff and kill you and stuff. Because we're Americans and we do that shit. Uh, but you get to be cool cowboys, so that's a bonus, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, freaking nice. And we got the amazing freaking uh, achievement there. I hope you can see it. It's in the down right corner. Liberty or death. That's right, folks. Liberty or freaking death. We've gained uh, nationalism and a bunch of other things. Let's um, kill every guy that has ever been part of a mercenary company. Because that's what you do when you detach them and then disband them. You mercilessly slaughter them on the ground. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Oh, die, motherfuckers. Thank you. And uh, you know what? I think Benedict Arnold was a pretty good leader this war. Maybe we should make him president. What do you think, guys? What do you think, guys, uh, over here in the in the court, in the um, Congress? Yay! Benedict Arnold, yay! Uh, so, yeah, let's stop doing that. We essentially won the war there, and um, in the... <laughs> In the second episode, although it should have been the third, because I fucked up the first episode. Um, Spain is a grand republic. Never heard something so nice, except when I heard that Britain had revolts as well. Um, is there possibly any chance that we could support maybe you? No? Okay, maybe, maybe you? No? Okay. You? I would like some allies. I have zero allies. I would, have, I would like to have at least one ally. Or free monies. Um, yeah, that went horribly, but we won. 
let's let's meet up in random province Uniata and um, chill out. Okay, so our next goal is going to be to conquer basically all of everything. So let's uh, let's do that. Still got uh, five minutes to take in this episode. Ilivinek, Ilinevek. We would like to hire some uh, hired guns. Sorry, that's my water. Um, yeah, let's let's not do that. Who are you, Alvin? Shawnee. Sure, let's um, let's conquer you both. Who are you allied with? Lenap and Potomaki. Uh, Potomaki. Sounds like a cool place to live in. Potomaki and who else? Lenap in Potavami. Potavatomi. Sounds Japanese. Yep, okay, let's go uh, Let's go for that then. Uh, then we can also start repaying all of our loans, which I would appreciate. Uh, colonial conquest. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I know we only have 4,000 infantry, but we also have half a thousand um, cav. So, um, you know, almost a full rank. Full file, I mean. So, um, yeah, let's siege this down in like two or three um, siege phases. Hey, we're actually gaining manpower. Haven't heard, haven't seen that since three years ago. How about, you know, you know, you know, this guy? Can we like. No? No? Okay. You know, whatever, but you know. Well, okay. Well, let's take diplomacy so we can offset all of my stupid um, policies. Well, we're gonna make a lot of money at least. That's uh, something. Hey, prestige. Can we gain some money, please? Blocks? No? Okay. Well, at least we're winning this war. Tolerance! Yay, because these do, do nothing right now, because we have our idea. Yay! Freedom of religion. Not the wrong com complaining. We could have an ambassador as president. Now, wouldn't that be nice? You know what, Americans? What would you do if I just li let our uh, president sit for more than two turns? Terms. Like... You can stop me. I could make it into a, a dictatorship. <sighs> oh, what a dream. We can actually increase our speed here. No reason to go so slow when um, we're just fighting dirty, dirty Native Americans. I feel like someday we should make up a um, sport in which we f uh, throw rotund things and then uh, we should name one of the teams the Native Americans. Doesn't that sound nice? So you're, are you at war with more people? Yeah, British. No, not you. You. Yep, yeah, British Columbia. Unfortunately for British Columbia, I'm gonna gobble these guys up first. Yay! Buffalo, you're next. Yeah, fuck the port. Um, piece of from piece of work. That sounds nice. I'm gonna. Um, I'm still gonna take your gold though. Come on, we got military access. Let's hire a few red coats. Uh, no, no, let's let's not. I I misread the the manpower bar there. Whoa! Sorry for shouting. Um, all right, fair trade. 
The natives of North America had always traded and sold animal furs, and the European colonizing America started practicing participating in the trade from the beginning of their arrival. The British established trading posts early and, has in, and it has become one of the main economic ventures in North, North America. The fur trade is, in USA has gotten a setback in recent years, and although Europe is screaming for furs and supply from the USA, it's still lessening. If we were able to capitalize on the trade and remove the British stranglehold over it, our nation would flourish. Nah. You know what, let's just forget about, you know, flourishing and stuff. Okay, <clears throat> let's do some more reading, I guess. From Mar March 81 to March 89, uh, the governing body of the United States of America was the Congress of the Federation of the United States of Cong on the United States in Congress assembled, an immediate successor to the Second Continental Congress. Despite the lack of power, the Congress managed to pass many laws, including the Northwest Ordinance. The Congress had, has convened to discuss the enormous debt the War of Independence has saddled the country with and a matter of slavery in the, North with the Northwest Ordinance. $8 million is owed to the French and the Dutch, with the total federal debt being nearly $40 million. A 5% 5, 5 duty on imports is pro proposed, and the proposed abolishment of slavery in the Northwest of the Ordinance is ca causing quite an uproar. I can imagine. Hopefully that... Uh, this whole slavery question doesn't split our nation or anything in the future. The import duties happen. Yep. Mm, yeah. 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 Let's do none of these. Do we have much inflation? We do barely have any inflation because we are losing inflation for something from something. What could that be? Do we have? Yeah. Right. We got that. Like, Economic it is. So actually let's gain some inflation and um, not trying to take out the bank, bank loan will be pretty cool. You know what? Put a me. I don't like you. I don't like your your shoes. Or the way you strut around like you own the place. Okay, put a Um let's get no vassalage, please. Maybe no. Fuck that. We can just conquer them later on. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Uh, all your money, please. Something. All your. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't care about that. Ah, that sounds fine. Let's do that. Then with Shawnee, let's give me all you got. Um, yeah, and stop saying that stuff. That okay, even more, even more history lessons. Although time is up, so I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna quit quit it for today. The Articles of Confederation. Uh, the 13 states that established the United States as a confederation of sovereign states have approved a version of the Article of Confederation and sent to the states for them to ratify. It's provided domestic in and international legitimacy for the Continental Congress to direct the revolution American Revolutionary War, conduct diplomacy with Europe and deal with territorial issues and Indian relations, even though it's not yet ratified. There has long been debates on issues such as sovereignty, the exact power given, to be given to the Confederate government, whether to have a judici judiciary, and voting procedures during the draft of the articles. And we're gonna ratify. Would be cool if you can do like uh, some kind of alternative history thing where you could um, not ratify or maybe make it into a proper con confederacy instead of a federacy, which it turn into later on, admittedly, but still. Yeah, stop claiming that stuff that is ours is actually yours, it's actually ours. Uh, cool. That looks nice. Now we're gonna end for today. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Please leave a like. It's a great support for me and um, it's helped me gain... It helps me gain... They, it helps me with the English language. It helps me gain traction on YouTube and... Uh, so yeah, and it helps me understand what you would like to watch. So please um, 
Give a like and consider subscribing. And hopefully I see you next time. Bye. -a.